is it doing? What is it doing? Oh, I get it. They're copycats and acting like babies. give it a thumbs up let's get it over 500 do we have 500 likes yet you know you let me know count it count it count it if not thumbs up bro all right we have a couple of dope nintendo switch news items for this video but the first one the first one you already see it right here your eyes are not deceiving you bro microsoft is coming out with their nintendo switch on boy all right this is an article coming from t3.com and microsoft has filed a patent this patent was filed a month ago in july on july 9th specifically for a nintendo switch type device now you guys remember microsoft announced Project X Cloud um, two E3s ago, where you'll be able to stream games from anywhere, bro. And they're taking out off the bulk of the cost from you, where you don't have to buy an actual system. They're just gonna use the devices you already have and boop, clamp two controllers. To both sides of your smartphone device now the interesting thing is is Apple going to allow X cloud well they already have the Xbox app so I'm sure you just download the Xbox app and through the Xbox app load up X cloud makes sense because you could I was gonna say Apple's not gonna allow another um, or somebody else to sell games but through the Xbox app you could buy games through the Microsoft Store so yeah yeah it could happen on any smart device this is going to be interesting bruh and so it says that the device as you can see in the um, display this is a concept art based off of um, the patent description and the patent description says it's going to have two joy pads that are clipped to a phone case to offer more immersive console like gaming according to this T3 um, article bro this is interesting it goes in a little bit more detail but this is the gist of the design this looks like it could work I have to get my hands on it and see you know I like my Xbox, uh, of course I rock with Nintendo, but I also like my Xbox, man, For especially for a lot of third party games that aren't coming to the Switch, Madden, come on EA, EA get me so mad, but I still buy Madden every year, bro, Madden, the rumored, um, uh, Plant vs. Zombies 3, I don't think Plant, uh, um, Garden Wolf, <laughs> Garden Wolf is gonna come to the Switch, just because, it's EA. <laughs> EA owns that game too. And we already know. No, is it EA or Activision? One of them. Both of them are playing ball with Nintendo. Because Activision ain't putting Call of Duty on the Switch. And so, it looks like... No, not it looks like. This is a filed official patent by Microsoft. Now, not all patents come to fruition, but... This more than likely is going to happen because xCloud is set to launch in October in its beta phase, October of this year. I'm definitely going to be trying it out to see how it is. And the original xCloud trailer had um, some kind of clamp that clamps your current Xbox controller, which I sort of would prefer. I, I prefer to use... Uh, the actual um, Xbox controller. Big up Jamaica. I prefer to use my actual Xbox controller to um, to play the games. Bro. 
the battery packs on these controllers are garbage. Straight, hot, stinking garbage. You play for two minutes, it's dead. Switch Pro controller, 80 hours, no problem. But, interesting to see how this evolves when this is released. Is this going to be released at the launch of xCloud? Who knows? But time will tell. Now, the article also mentions there's a rumored PlayStation Portable in the works by Sony. The article also mentions that there's rumors or specifically whispers of a new Sony PSP on the horizon. And so, Microsoft and Sony, we're, we're, everybody's focused on boom, big, super powerful hardware, but... If they come out with their devices, the portable devices, Sony, for example, that can at least run PlayStation 4 games that are also compatible with PlayStation 5, just scale back instead of 4K, because everything next gen is going to be 4K, instead of 4K, 1080p, Nintendo, no, <laughs> I was right about to say, Nintendo better watch out, but we already know how <laughs> the PlayStation Vita, the 3DS race turned out. <laughs> Bro, I was looking at VGCharts.com the other day. The PlayStation Vita is still selling in Japan. Last week, the last recorded week, 238 people bought a PlayStation Vita in Japan. 38 people bought an Xbox in Japan. <laughs> but, copy it, bro. And I don't blame them, though. The Switch is so popular, man. Um, gamers are craving to be able to play their games no matter where they go. And these portable devices, the Switch is killing it. As far as in indie developers are going to love this. Because indie games look the same on a super powerful PC as it does on a mobile chipset. And so this is going to benefit, I think, the most indie gamers. But I think Nintendo's going to be all right just because Nintendo's first party games are in a class of their own. They, they have the best first party games, bro. And so as long as Nintendo keeps control of their intellectual property, uh, they're going to be good to go. But it's happening. And we knew the copying was going to immense comments, immense comments. Y'all remember this? This was the Nintendo Switch launch presentation in Japan. Who is this dude? Not your average Japanese detective. Look at him. He's in like a trench coat trying to be all conspicuous. He should have had a mustache. This is Shuya Yoshida, the global president of Sony. He was at the presentation. Snap, 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 taking pictures. So you know from the moment Nintendo launched the Switch, Sony was getting ready to copy copycat big babies all right so next generation is going to be very interesting all right next news item bro this was lit reggie what in the world does reggie have to do with gears you ask bro Reggie tweeted out on Twitter today that there's going to be a Reggie achievement in Gears. The achievement is going to be my body is ready. Well, they need to just change it to my body is Reggie. Oh, please, Xbox, change that achievement to my body is Reggie. Nintendo fans, fans in general would go crazy. Bro, but it's cool that they're even having this. Um, just a homage uh, to Reggie. Reggie is going to forever go down as a video game icon. One in a million, bro. And so, so glad, so glad. You see him in my profile pic, bro. I'm so glad that they're doing this for the homie Reggie. Rightfully so, man. It's legendary, bro. And so, I, uh, bro, I tweeted out. I mean, I was going to get Gears 5 anyway because I got Game Pass Ultimate, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to get the game for free. But I'm definitely going to play through the single-player campaign just to unlock, just so I could forever have in my profile archives 
that I have the my body is ready achievement Nintendo where are achievements at Nintendo huh 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 we're beating this dead horse bro how Microsoft gonna have Reggie in their achievements before Nintendo that's a disgrace Nintendo but you're giving us garbage NES games <gasps> I already talked about this this morning. All right, all right, calm down. Woosa, woosa, woosa. Deep breaths, Obi-Wan. Keep the horse right there next to the cat. Hey, beat the cat. Oh, the beaver's doing double damage. He's hitting the cat and the horse. Cat and the horse. Bruh, that's how we rolling, bro. Peter, call Peter on me, bro. Try it, bro. <laughs> I'm just chilling, bro. Dudes are about to call Peter on this video. All right, the last news item no not the last one there's another the last news item nintendo fans you might really want to see this but this next news item bro walmart hold this l bro in response to the mass shootings and don't get me wrong people should be aware of what's happened and Action needs to be taken, but leave it to Walmart. Walmart, leave it to Walmart to do something moronic. Walmart has taken is going to stop advertising violent video games. You just probably like, oh well, that's cool. But you know what they're still doing? They ain't that cr oh no, I take that back. Because I've seen um, pictures on Twitter that some Walmarts have actually taken down um, vi some video games off their shelves. I saw one Walmart. I was looking at um, Andre Seeger's, shout out to Game Explain, his um, Twitter feed, where the only games still on the shelf were like Nintendo games. Of just dance Madden Madden was there even though Madden is a little violent bomb no crushing hits but sports games and just dance were still on the shelf <laughs> but this is why Walmart holds the L bro how are you going to have taken down the video games in some stores not every store that so they want their money T stop advertising violent video games but you know what happens if you go to the sporting goods section in Walmart you could buy guns, bullets, vests. You, you could go ham. So we're going to take down the violent video games, but we'll still sell guns. Walmart. Hold the L. Hold that L. All right. The last news item. Percival is not following me, and he became a member on YouTube. You're going to make me cry, Percival. All right, <clears throat> the last news item, bro. This is pretty dope for Switch owners. There is a portable. Let me put this L a little smaller so y'all can see it. A portable dock has entered kickstarting phase, and look at how small it is. It has an HDMI cord, USB, and a USB C. Um, input cord. A portable Nintendo Switch dock is blowing up right now on Kickstarter. I don't know if they want to use that title, blowing up, as far as it's being popular. Is this going to blow up your Switch? But it is. The team over at, this is from Polygon.com, team over at Genki is kickstarting a new Nintendo Switch portable dock. The dock includes a 3.1 port and sends data to whatever device you have connected as well. So you can use mice, flash drives, wire controllers, yada, yada, yada. And so to use the switch, you simply have to use a cable to plug it into the brick and then use an HDMI cable to connect the brick to the TV. And so if you're tired of lugging around that um, huge brick, the dock to whatever TV you have, you can just have one that fits in your pocket and take it anywhere you go. Portability at its finest. All right, dudes. Those are all of the news items. But 
I do have one more thing I need to remind you guys that I'm doing. I'm giving away a Nintendo Switch Lite. That's right, a Nintendo Switch Lite to a lucky a member, a lucky member. You have to join either or you could be a Twitch sub, um, a YouTube member, the join button is right below this video, or a sponsor on Patreon. Going to be giving away a Switch Lite in September. Shout out to Scoops, one of the sponsors. And you get to not only have the chance of winning a Switch Lite, but you're guaranteed to be a part of a dope gaming community. You get on my Switch friend list. You got an Xbox. We game on the Xbox sometimes too. Just a dope gaming community. Uh, we game almost every night on Twitch. The OGC. Bruh, Obi-Wan plays gaming championships. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. That's my bro from last video. I forgot to change it. So what, bro? Nintendo's still trolling us with the NES online games. Bye. Was just flying. <laughs> <laughs>